receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. Okay. God bless you, brother. I want to lead you into prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for your son. I thank you, Lord, for your son. Lord, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. Lord, I ask you to forgive me for all my sins. Without you, I have no salvation. Without you, I have no salvation. Tonight, Jesus, I believe in you. Tonight, in Jesus, I believe in you. And I believe in your finished works. I believe in your finished works. See me as my personal. Lord and Savior. Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hey guys, welcome to The Witness Channel once again. It's never the time of The Witness, it's never my own time, it's always the time of Jesus. Thank you so much for all y'all's prayers, y'all's support, and I, and, I, and I just pray that this video is a blessing to your souls and anybody that's watching it, whether you're unsaved, saved, or wanting to reconcile again with the Father. So God bless y'all in the name of Jesus, and remain blessed. I want to let everybody know in this place that Jesus is coming soon. The time will come where we'll stand before God and He will ask us this very question. What did you do with the time that I gave you on earth? Yes, we're enjoying life and we are pleasing our flesh. But I want to let you know that the consequence of sin is death. You and I, we deserve death. That is our penalty without Jesus. And I'm sorry to bring this news to y'all, but the truth may hurt. The Bible says that drunkards cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. God is asking for a change. But we cannot change unless we receive Jesus. Because it is only Jesus that can change our lives. There are so many people that are drinking this very night to distract themselves from problems, from issues, family problems. Or maybe there is a void that you're trying to fill. And I want to let you know that the only way that void, that emptiness can be filled is if you receive Jesus Christ tonight. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. We will all stand before God and we will give an account for everything we did in this world. If tonight were to be your last night, where will you spend your eternity? The Bible says that all have fallen short of the glory of God. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Our consequence is death, my friends. But there is a way out. There is an escape from death. Why? Because Jesus defeated death when he died and he resurrected. And that is the greatest news to humanity. Don't allow the crucifixion of Jesus to be in vain in your life. Jesus wants to show you a better way. Because I was once where you were. I was lost and now I'm found. I was blind and now I can see. Why, why, why are you wearing that cross? I believe in God, man. Believe you, but who's God to you? Jesus, you believe in God, brother? You know, you know, he, you know, he paid a high price for y'all. Oh, I know, he did. Yeah, do you know why you need Jesus? Why is that? It's because look, the Bible says that the consequence of sin is death. You have sinned, you have sinned, I have sinned. We all have. The Bible says we've all fallen short of the glory of God. So your penalty is death. Your penalty is death. My penalty is death. Actually, so, it's not due to the fact that Jesus repented for us. Jesus didn't repent for Excuse us. Me. Jesus took our sins. He paid the price for our sins, yes. He paid the price. Yes, he paid the price for our sins. So now, do you feel like you can just say yes to Jesus and live anyhow and do anything? Oh, okay. What are y'all doing here? Just laying back, having a good time. Having a good time? What, what does having a good time sound like? Is it drinking, smoking? Dancing. Dancing, dancing listening dancing to worldly on. music? In what area, in what part of this is it glorifying Jesus? You know, the see, see, here's how I think about it, though. Every part of me glorifies Jesus. So, so even if I step in the streets, even if I step in hell, wherever I step, Jesus goes with me. That, what gives you that assurance? You know, do you know what separates us from God? It's sin. The Bible says that anyone who is friends with the world is enemy of God. Because if, if your friend says, if your friend hears you say, I believe in Jesus, but sees you live like the world, you know what's gonna make, you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna say, you know what?
just to be on the safe side, let me receive Jesus too, I can still live like this. And the Bible calls those people lukewarm. They're more dangerous than cold people and hot people. Meaning cold people all uh, have nothing to do with God and hot people who are on fire for Jesus. The Bible says that the lukewarm, the one that are one foot and say, I believe in Jesus, but their life shows nothing about Jesus. The Bible says Jesus will reject you. And I don't want that to happen to you. I don't want that to happen to you. So the, even though the truth hurts, I have to bring it to y'all. Why? Because there is an eternal place where we'll spend, and it's heaven or hell. And when we stand before God, and I want to ask all these simple questions before we go. When you stand before holding a perfect God and He asks you this question, what did you do with the time that I give you on earth to glorify my name? How would you answer? I tell him what I did. Shit. At the end of the day, if I, if I messed up in any way, shape, or form, it's on me. So, so you're not scared of hell, bro? No, because if I deserve it, and that's, that's God's wish, then I'm going to We deserve God it, in. but God's love took me. But, but God's know? love, right? God forgives us. So if God forgives me, then I'm deserving of that forgiveness. If he can't forgive me, then honestly, I fucked up to begin with. That, that's why a lot of people make fun of Christianity, because there's a majority of people that say, I'm Christian, I love Jesus, but they're living like the devil. They're living like the worldly people. And, and let's be honest, there's a lot of Christians doing that. You know, and, and we'll stand before God. How would you answer him if God asked you that question? You have nothing to say, right? right. And, and God bless you for your heart, for real. God bless you with your heart. And God hears and, and judges according to the heart, not according to the outside. And the way you responded to me is a way of humility. You, you can get, God can easily work with you. But God can't work with prideful people that say, I love this life, I'm gonna enjoy it. Whatever happens to me after, happens to me after. God can't be glorified in those lives. So I wanna ask you this question. Do you mind me leading you to a prayer of reconciliation with Jesus? Hi, bro. In the name of your son, Jesus. I know what I've been doing is wrong in your sight. This flesh, it will seize. All these buildings, they will seize. But my soul will be forever. I don't want to go to hell and spend eternity there. Because I decided to reject the truth. I ask for your Holy Spirit to fill me, change me, transform me, to be an example to this world. In the name of Jesus, forgive me for my sins and make me righteous once again. Perfect me with the blood of Jesus and deal with my heart. You can rebuke me, but let me enter heaven. Correct me, but let me enter heaven. Convict me, but let me enter heaven. Do whatever you need to do. Even if you have to take away everything. Just help me enter heaven. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. And I say amen. God bless you, bro. Bro, I love you, bro. And I care for your soul. You see, a lot of people won't tell you this because truly in their heart, they don't know the truth. They can't help. But Jesus permitted this moment for a reason. I was in deep Elam, I was preaching, but stuff started happening, bad stuff. I had to leave that place and I was led here. And I believe God led me for you because I know when you go home, you will think about this because you know there's a calling of God upon your life. You know God chose you, God wants to use you. You're not like everybody else. Why? Because the time in this world is temporary. But the time of heaven is eternal. Let's prioritize our soul and follow Jesus. He will empower you. He will change your life. Live to please him. Follow Jesus. God bless you, bro. Thank you, brother. Love you, man. God bless you, brother. How you doing, man? I'm Jeremiah. So we, we come here, we, we preach the gospel. Do you know about the gospel? Not too much. Can, do, do you mind? I'll, I'll try to explain this as quick as possible to not waste too much of your time. My place in the cross. He suffered the consequence that you and I deserved. Okay? And the Bible says that he died in the The Bible says that he died in the cross. And why did he die on the cross? A lot of people don't know that, but don't know the answer. The Bible says he was blameless. He was innocent. But why did he receive the penalty of death? is so that you wouldn't receive the penalty of death. That's why, the, that's why people say, Jesus took your place on the cross. He took my place on the cross. Because the Bible says this, they, they, they crucified him, 
they killed him they buried him and when they went to go look at the tomb he resurrected to let you know that he defeated death okay so he defeated death for you for me and everybody here the bible says that for god so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him and his finished works will be saved you know you can be saved today if you can receive jesus let's say it, god forbid if something were to happen to you right now and you receive jesus before you go you know you go to heaven because jesus took your place because when death comes and he tries to take you to hell tormenting and suffering that's what we deserve without jesus when when death comes to you, you know who stands in between jesus he says you can't take him because i've already defeated you and he believed in me because he believed in me i'm the bridge to heaven the bible says there's no other way to enter heaven but through jesus jesus said i am the way the truth and the life but there's one thing that will last forever and where you will spend eternity will determine on this decision that you're about to take now and i want to ask you this question do you want to receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? You want to? Yes? Yes. Okay, God bless you, brother. I want to lead you into prayer. You mind repeating after me? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for your son. I thank you, Lord, for your son. Lord, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. Lord, I ask you to forgive me for all my sins. Without you, I have no salvation. Without you, I have no salvation. Tonight, Jesus, I believe in you. Tonight, Jesus, I believe in you. And I believe in your finished works. I believe in your finished works. Lord, thank you for salvation. Lord, thank you for salvation. And I ask you, Father, I ask you, Father to give to I ask you, Father, for the Holy Spirit. I ask you, Father, for the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive you as my personal. In the name of Jesus, I receive you as my personal. Lord and Savior. Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now I'm going to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this soul. Lord, I pray, Father, this is not a coincidence. You don't operate by coincidences, Father. There is a soul that you wanted to save. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree, Lord, that every attack of the enemy over his life, every depression, anxiety, addiction, fear, Lord, I cast it out from his life in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I fill him with the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit enter this temple for the word declares that the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, may you fill him convict him empower him to change to be different to impact your kingdom in the name of jesus christ of nazareth lord i cancel every operation of the kingdom of darkness that will try to rise against this soul lord i declare him victorious give him the peace that only you can give him show him the real way in the name of jesus holy spirit be his teacher his advocate his guide his lead speak to him lord and use him for this generation in the name of jesus christ of nazareth holy spirit thank you father thank you for saving a soul Lord, may you open his eyes more and more. Make it more clear to him, Father. And let him know that what really matters is where we will spend eternity in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being the seal to his salvation. In Jesus' name I pray. And we say amen. So God bless you, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, so I wanted to really come on here urgently to plead with y'all. And I wanted to come on here to ask you guys to please have me in y'all's prayers. So recently... After we had preached last week in Deep Elam, the Lord came, the Lord spoke to me and he told me, I need you to, I need you to take some time off from going to Deep Elam and preach because there are people that are plotting against you. And, and so days, days passed by. I, told, I even mentioned it to my cameraman, but a couple days passed by and I ended up going to my, uh, my spiritual parents' house and my spiritual mother told me, she said that while she was in her kitchen, the Lord spoke to her. And the Lord told her to tell me to not go to Deep Ellen for some time because there are people that are plotting against me. So please, brothers and sisters of Christ, if you're listening to me, please keep me in your prayers. Keep me in your prayers. Um, we won't be going in that area for some time until the Lord speaks to me and tells me I can return now. But for now, please pray for me that the protection of God continue to happen. And one thing that we have to know, we're in depth with Jesus. We can't stop, nothing can stop us. We have to continue. If a city rejects us, we remove the dust from our shoes and we move on. So thank y'all so much for your support and God bless y'all so much.